Hello everyone. Welcome to CATIA tutorial. I am B. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering Kids Varangal. In this video lecture, I am going to explain how to create a point in CATIA V5 software and what are the sub tools are available in point toolbar. What is point? A point is defined as a geometrical element that, that has no magnitude of length, width or thickness. It is only specified by its position. In CATIA V5, you can create points by clicking in the geometry area or by specifying the coordinates. You can also locate an intersection point or project a point on an element. Let us see how to invoke a point in CATIA V5 software. To invoke any of the tools for creating a point, you can see here this is the profile toolbar. In the profile toolbar, you can choose a point option. Here one uh, down arrow on the right side of this point tool tool in the profile toolbar. Just you can click here, you can access uh, a sub toolbar. The sub toolbar will be displayed. That is first one is point by clicking, second one is point by using coordinates, third one is equidistant points, intersection point, the last one is projection point. You can also uh, detach this toolbar uh, just you can you can hold mouse left button just you can move from here to here this is the point toolbar let us discussing about uh, how to create uh, how to create points by using these uh, different options you can also invoke same tool from insert menu insert Profile toolbar, profile toolbar, in this you can choose point, point, point using coordinates, equidistant points, intersection point, projection point. Let us discussing about how to create points by clicking option. This is the first tool that is point by clicking. <coughs> to create points by clicking, you, you can invoke the point by clicking tool from the profile sub toolbar in the profile toolbar. Now I am choosing this option. You can see here this is the sketch tool. The sketch tools uh, toolbar will expand and you will be prompted the, to click create the point. Just you can see here you can move the cursor. You can click anywhere in the geometry area to create the point. Now I am choosing here. Now I am clicking the point here. Once again I'm, I am repeating this same procedure. Now I am choosing point by clicking. You can see here in the sketcher toolbar point coordinates horizontal vertical uh, that means coordinate values in the H and V edit box of the point coordinates area displayed in the expanded sketch tools toolbar you can create points by defining the coordinates using uh, using the other option that is uh, the second one point by using coordinates in the first one is point by clicking just you can click anywhere in the geometry area this is a procedure to creating a points by clicking option the second one is points creating points by using coordinates now i'm choosing second one to create points by using coordinates uh, invoke that point by using coordinates tool from the point sub tool in the profile toolbar now i'm choosing uh, this option that is point by using coordinates here the point definition dialog box will be displayed in this dialog box, you can use uh, either Cartesian. When you ch when you choose Cartesian, here it's showing two options. That is horizontal distance and vertical distance. 
when you choose polar it showing two option that is radius or angle for define a point here you can also select a previously created point as a reference for the point you want to create for example i am choosing cartesian here i have entered the values horizontal 20 mm vertical 20 mm then click okay you can see here i have created one point the horizontal distance is 20 mm vertical distance 20 mm now i'm going to choose uh, this point now i'm going to choose point by using coordinates here uh, i'm here i have chosen that cartesian coordinates and also entered the values that is 20 mm vertical 20 mm then click okay here the point is created with reference to previous selected point if you are not choosing any point uh, it is directly uh, located 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 the point with respect to origin point this is the difference between reference point and origin point for example i am choosing uh, uh, second one that is point by using coordinates in this second one is polar here uh, uh, i am choosing the polar tab you need to specify the values for radius and angle in the corresponding edit boxes now i am choosing radius is 50 mm angle is 45 degrees then click okay you can see here the point is created with uh, two para with respect to two parameters that is radius and second one is angle this is the procedure to creating points by using coordinates let us discussing about the third one creating equidistant points to create equidistant points on a line curve or between two points how to invoke uh, equidistant points before going to invoke this option you need to draw one line or curve for example i am going to draw one line this is the one line i uh, also i am creating uh, uh, one curve that is 3 point r uh, now i am going to invoke equidistant points you can see here uh, one when equidistant point definition dialog box uh, appear here it showing that uh, uh, parameters uh, that is points and length uh, new points by spacing uh, default value length default uh, then click okay this is the procedure to uh, creating equidistant points here a uh, few more options are available in this uh, equidistant point uh if you select a line or a curve and then click on the extremity of that line or curve now i am going to choose one uh, corner point of this line or curve for example i am choosing this extremity point here parameters uh, uh the options in the parameters uh, highlighted you can uh by using drop down when you choose extremity point the drop down will be will become available you can select the different options like points and length points and spacing spacing and length you can select points and length option from this uh, drop down menu Uh, by using this option you can specify the number of points number of points and length uh, in the new points and length spinner for example if you select the second one points and spacing uh, in this option 
new points and spacing spinner uh, activated by using this option you can increase the new points uh, or spacing spacing of that curve curve or line if you choose third one spacing and length uh, here spacing and length option uh, will be activated by using this option you can change the spacing and length values for example I am choosing this uh, spacing is e mm then click ok this is the procedure to creating uh, equidistant points on a line or a curve or uh, in between two points uh, let us uh, see the uh, fourth one intersection point now let us discussing about how to create intersection points to create points at the intersection of the selected elements for example uh, I'm going to draw one spline uh, you can see here this is the one spline this is a line this is the arc uh, in between these three elements uh, few intersection points are uh, available ok how to create uh, that intersection points now invoke the intersection point from point toolbar now you can choose the elements Here I have chosen that this line and this line. In between these two scale elements, two intersection points are there. One is uh, this one. This is the one intersection point, and this is the another intersection point. Intersection point notation is two circles. You can see here these two circles indicate the intersection points. For example, I am choosing uh, this curve and this spline. You can also see here, uh, in between this uh, spline and arc, uh, here one, one intersection point, here also one intersection point. These two points are created. This is the procedure to create intersection points in between two sketches. Let us uh, discussing about uh, the last one that is projection points how to create uh, how to create the projection points on the selected curves uh, here before going to choose that option you can create uh, points in the geometry area I have created two points you can create one or more points by projecting points onto a curve element to create projection points on a curve uh, select the points that are to be projected then you can choose projection point tool from the point sub toolbar in the profile toolbar first you need to select this point then you can choose projection point or you can go to the insert uh, profile point uh, projection point then choose this curve here uh, when you choose that curve the point will be projected automatically the point will be projected automatically on it and construction lines you can see here this is the one construction line construction line representing the direction of the projection will also appear in the graphics area the projection options available in the sketch tools you can also see here uh, once again I am choosing this uh, repeating the same procedure projection area um, uh, here in the sketch tools two options are 
display that is one is the orthogonal projection the second one is along a direction orthogonal projection means this option is selected by default when you choose projection point this is the default option is uh, available in sketch tools now select the point then select the curve all this uh, here the selected point will be projected on the curve according to a normal direction on this curve the second one is along uh, second one is along a direction now i'm going to choose this point uh, activating uh, invoking projection point here the second one is along a direction first you need to select this point then choose uh, projection point then you can choose along a direction Uh, now define the uh, position of the point on the curve now i am going to choose here here the selected point will get projected along the given direction by using uh, uh, along direction option this is the procedure to creating projection points in the catia v5 software this is the uh, brief discussion about how to create points and what are the uh, sub tools are available in point toolbar i hope this is very clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates